Speak out. In countries such as Bahrain, Israel, Libya, Syria, United Kingdom, and Yemen, people continue calling for government reforms that ensure greater equality, opportunity, and democracy for all fellow country persons. United Kingdom, Mr. Tariq Jahan, bereaved father of one of three young men killed while trying to protect their neighborhood during recent unrest in Birmingham, is being credited with avoiding a descent into riots as he issued a dignified public appeal for calm and constructive intercultural relations. British Chancellor George Osborne meanwhile stated during a Channel 4 interview that some of the communities recently affected by unrest suffer from social issues that leave them isolated from the rest of the country and said that these issues must be addressed. Israel. Weekly protests spread across the nation on Saturday, August 13th, with tens of thousands of people, including families, youth and pensioners, gathering peacefully in squares across 18 cities to call for affordable housing, fair wages and free education for all. Bahrain, as the nation's health ministry announced that 23 medical staff are being fired for allegedly supporting the protesters. A Lulabite news agency reported that thousands of demonstrators gathered in Abu Kuwa Saturday to reiterate calls for an elected and fair government, pledging to continue protests until their legitimate demands are met. Meanwhile, human rights organizations Education International and Amnesty International stated that they are launching campaigns for the release of Bahrain Teachers Association members. Yemen. China-based Xinhua stated that on Saturday, the activist Joint Meeting Parties Coalition announced the appointment of a new governor of al Jaf province, one of the two provinces now being maintained through the coalition's emerging interim government. Their announcement follows a day of massive protests attended by hundreds of thousands of citizens across the country, demanding that President Ali Abdullah Saleh step down. Meanwhile, President Saleh, who is still recovering in Saudi Arabia from a June attack on the presidential palace, stated he would sign a Gulf Cooperation Council accord to transfer power only after two of his former allies, who defected to support the protesters, leave the country. Syria, in the port city of Latakia, military warships joined tanks in shelling the city, with at least six people who were killed by Sunday. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reports that 2,150 people have died since the government crackdown began. Meanwhile, on Saturday, U.S. President Barack Obama, Saudi King Abdullah Abdulaziz, and British Prime Minister David Cameron all called for Syria to end the violence towards citizens while France called on all nationals to leave the country as both France and Russia urged citizens to abandon plans to visit. With grief for fellow human lives lost, as well as those injured and oppressed, we pray for a halt to all turmoil and that people in every country may choose to walk in dignified freedom as a peaceful world.